Welcome back to the pregame. Time now for our talk with Coach Butch Peterson, presented by Main Street Suites. And Coach, 24-21, what a game last Friday night down at Minneapolis. Just a real gut check. I was so, so proud of the kids. They didn't give up. They kept fighting. We had the momentum. We lost the momentum. We got the momentum. We lost the momentum. And then we stopped them on the goal line, and the uh, field goal was no good, and we, we then had pandemonium. It was fun. Yeah, it was exciting. Uh, it was a lot of fun up in that press box. It was great watching those kids on the sideline. Kinnick Belk, he was one that, I mean, obviously the play that really kind of saved a big touchdown right there. He's hustling. That's just a pure effort play. And it looked like he had probably three or four others of those throughout the night. That's just one of those things that, you love to see as a coach. Well, it's indicative of the way we all play. You know, we're going to give everything we possibly can, and and Kinnick did just that. He said he saw me. He thought I just need to go, 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 go get him, and he got him, and uh, it really helped us. Obviously, uh, you never win a ball game single-handedly. Uh, we do that. We did that as a team, but that was a huge play. Yeah, for sure. And I know he would be the first to credit everybody else for uh, doing their job uh, the rest of that game as well. But that one was a very key moment. Uh, big plays. Meepo did have a couple of those, and you got to tip your cap sometimes to a very talented team. But credit our defense that they were able to, for the most part, limit a pretty athletic squad. Oh, there's no question about it. I mean, the third quarter, they owned the third quarter. We owned the whole half. In the third quarter, I thought they did a tremendous job, and that's because they are a great, a great team, and they're well coached and have a great athlete. That number six is an incredible athlete. He's, he's really a good athlete. And, and But we stuck in there. We didn't give up. We knew that there was a four-quarter game. We talked about that before the game. It's not going to be a first or second quarter game, guys. It's going to be a four-quarter game, and it turned out to be just that. Speaking of uh, good athletes and good ball players, Andy Henson was another one that had a heck of a night doing a lot of great things defensively. I was more impressed on the offensive side. I mean, 170 some yards, but the way that he showed just great patience, great vision, great speed, great power. I mean, he just put the whole package together, thanks, of course, to the rest of his teammates. But it was just a good night all around for Andy. He's our bell cow. He's the guy that goes out there and really does the things for us that we need to have done. And, he again, he'd be telling that's yeah, the line. That offensive line's really doing it. And they are doing a good job. But he's a tremendous athlete. He's going to definitely be playing at the next level someday. Uh, what position, I don't know, whether it be offense or defense. But he's got the whole package, and he's having a great senior or great junior year. Well, you had mentioned it earlier, uh, momentum, back and forth, back and forth. You know, towards the end of that third quarter, you give up the lead. Did you worry about the team? Did you have to do anything to get them back, or did they kind of pick themselves up? No, I think yeah, we, we, we run a very disciplined program, Stephen. You've been out here. You've been a part of the program. You know that we don't allow any of that kind of stuff to take part. And we're really tough on them, and they want to be coached hard. We've talked to them numerous times. Do you want us to push you? Do you want us to push you? Yes, we do. So when moms or dads or anybody else gets upset, with us for pushing their kids you know ask talk to your child or whoever the player is you want to talk to because we do push them extremely hard and they respond in a positive manner and they understand why we're doing it well it leads to a 2-0 and record in the district and 4-1 and overall now you've got homecoming week uh, what do you do to make sure these kids can enjoy that but know that they still need to be pushed because you've got a big game on friday you know, we we do want them to be have a lot of fun. It's home. It's homecoming. There's going to be a lot of the alumni come back for this particular game, and it's against Durant. They're a great football team. They we got out of there last year with the skin of our teeth down at Durant, and we expect them to come up here and be very, very well. They. Um, only lost to Sigourney Kyoto, who was ranked number seven in the state by three points, and Sigourney's good. And I talked to Sigourney's coach, and he said they're you know a very good football team and. Uh, uh, I, I know he's telling the truth, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be something that we're all looking forward to. But they have to stay focused during practice time. And you were out here tonight a little bit, and you saw that, and they're always focused. They don't really have much of an option, to be honest with you. And they don't want any option. They want to have just tough deals. We want to get after it. We want to get better, Coach. Well, like we said, uh, Durant's probably the best one and four team in the state of Iowa. They've just been a little unlucky all year. So you know that you can't look at that record and say, hey, it's an easy homecoming game. It's going to be a challenge Friday night. Uh, there's just no question about it. They're a, great, they're a great football team. I'm impressed with the way they're coached, and they do a lot of things well. And they got a great running back in DeLong. There's no doubt about it. And the quarterback's getting better each and every game, and they have a lot of weapons that they can go to as well. So it's going to be a really challenging game for us. Well, we're looking forward to it, Coach. Thanks very much for joining us. All right, thank you. That is Coach Butch Peterson presented by Main Street Suites. We'll be back with more of the pregame right after this. You're listening to the Bearcast at westbranch.football.